Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vero. If you are new in here, please go and subscribe, turn on the notifications box so you can know whenever I'm gonna be uploading new videos. And let's start with today's topic. Today I'm gonna be talking about five different techniques for watercolor beginners like me. So I wanna say before starting all of this that I'm gonna be uploading videos of art on Sundays, videos of lifestyle and travel on Wednesdays, and on Fridays, starting from February, I'm gonna be giving you guys some recipes for food from Costa Rica, United States of Japan. So let's start with today's video. First, with the wet on one technique. This basically means adding a wet paint into a wet surface. To do this, we need to add first some water into the paper, trying to make the shape of the element that we want. In this case, I'm drawing a tree because I want a tree. Then we add the color and this color is going to spread across the water shape in the way that we want it to spread. We can do it by moving different sides of the paper so it can follow the water or just to have it straight in there so it can follow the water that we have already in there. This technique is one of my favorites because it gives me the freedom to play with the paint and as it have like super soft edges and nice contrast of colors when I want to add like dark colors to the wet paint or light colors over the dark ones while creating unique effects. One thing that you have to be careful about when you use this technique is the wetness of the paper. You don't want it to be extremely wet but also you don't want it to be extremely dry so you can combine different colors easily across the paint. As you can see if you add more and more paint you can actually make super detail but it's still kind of rough paints. But for example, in the left side, I decided to leave it like that so you can see how it is when it dries. It can be like super detailed like the right side or not detailed and a little bit like odd like in the left side. Next we have the blending technique. This technique is basically you add a color and then you blend it from dark until it gets light by adding water or cleaning the brush as I did. This will allow you to break the hard edges and will give you like a smooth gradient in the end of the paint. For so many beginners like me, this technique can be a little bit hard but it will get better with time and with practice. The third technique is the wet on dry. To start with this technique, we just need to apply wet color into the dry paper. In this case, I'm going to paint the background shape of my next tree. As you can see, the edges are not as soft as the wet on dry technique, but the shape is defined better. And this is one of the advantages of this technique. It is more detailed and less messy because the water in this case will not move as smash and it will be defined by the shape that you make with the brush. After letting the paint dry, we can start to make the detailed tree. I'm gonna be using in here the watercolor pen for better lines. So I'm gonna start making just lines all across the tree so it can be more like realistic. The technique that I'm using right now is called wet dry technique. This is extremely similar with the one that we just used that was the wet on dry technique. But with the difference that when you use this one, you put the color not directly into the paper but instead you put it into the dry paint. As you can see with this technique you can actually make paints that are more detailed and you can add different kind of colors into the same paint and it's gonna look better. But there is one thing that you have to be careful about when using this is like for example at first when you put the color if the color is super super wet it can actually reactivate the color that you had before and you can make a mess. So if you want to avoid all of this, you can use like this pen that I'm using right now or you can use like really small brushes. You can also like have a lot of patience and let the first color dry before you have to apply the other one so they don't combine and the pens are gonna look better. At last, I just want to explain the color combination technique really quick because I want to make a video about it later on. So, in this case, to combine the two colors, I'm going to be combining the pink and the red. And all I have to do is just put the pink, blend it off, and then add the red and blend it into the pink. So this color can look actually like if it's making a shade 
into the bottom part of the tree that I'm making. Now that I let the paint dry, you can actually see the difference of the tree sections. The number one, the edges are gonna be soft, the colors are gonna be combined, but it's not gonna look really detailed. The number two, after adding color many times, you can see that it's gonna be detailed, the tree is gonna look a little bit more realistic, but not as realistic as the number three, when you add like many different lines and the colors are gonna be more detailed, they are not gonna be combined, and the tree is gonna look better. So that was all for today's video guys, I hope you learned something from this video, if you like it give me the thumbs up, if you didn't like it give me the thumbs down, and please give me some comments what you like, what you didn't like, what do you want to learn about art, about the watercolors, which one was difficult for you to understand so I can make a more specific video, and whatever you want to know, so please let me in the comment, give me the feedback, and see you next time, see you in the next video, bye!